For this problem, we want to use the formula for the sum to infinity of a geometric series to find the fractional equivalent to 0 0.12 recurring. Well, let's look at what 0 0.12 recurring actually means. If we've got 0 0.12 recurring, really, this just means 0 0.121212 and so on forever. Okay, it's a recurring decimal. Well, actually, we can rewrite this as a summation of a series of terms, an infinite number of terms, in fact. Because the 1, 2 is recurring, we can write this as, well, really, we have 12 divided by 100, 12 hundredths. That represents the first 12 plus 12 divided by what represents the 10,000, so 12 ten thousandths, plus 12 over what represents the millionths, and so on. Okay, so 12 of what be the 100 millionths, and 12 over the uh, 10 billionths, and so on. So we'll carry it on. It carries on forever. It's a recurring decimal. Well, if we've got this, really, what we have is a geometric series. And if we look at the what the multiplication is, or the common ratio of the second term divided by the first, the third term divided by the second, and so on, we'll find it's actually the same value. So we need to find a value for r so that we can use the sum to infinity formula. So r, the easiest way, is u2 divided by u1. Well, u2 is 12 divided by 10,000 all over 12 divided by 100. Well, because I'm dividing the fraction there, I can flip it and it becomes a multiplication. So really you have 12 over 10,000 times 100 over 12. The 12's cancel, but the 100 and the 10,000 simplify so you have 1 over 100, and that's actually our common ratio, R, for this recurring decimal. So we have a value for R. Well, in our sum to infinity formula, we also need a value for A, which, fortunately, we've already listed. A represents the first term, so that is just 12 divided by 100. So we can use the sum to infinity formula. So we've got a over 1 minus r. We have 12 divided by 100 over 1 minus rr, r, which is 1 over 100. So we have 12 over 100 divided by 99 over 100. Well, again, it's a division of the fraction, so it flips and becomes a multiplication. So that leaves you with 12 over 99. Or if you divide both of those by 3, 4 over 33. And that's in its simplest form. And that actually is what the sum to infinity gets us. And if you type this into your calculator and convert it into a decimal, guess what? It will show you the 0 0.12 recurring. Okay, so that's just a check at the end just to make sure that you've got this correct. The final thing that you should be checking as well is to use the sum to infinity. We're looking at a convergent geometric series there. So just make sure that your R value is indeed between minus one to one, which it is for this problem, so that's fine. So our sum to infinity gets us a fractional equivalent of four over 33 for 0 0.12 recurring.